Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Little Educational Channel. So this is the time to discuss the quiz questions which came in the Envara Science Quiz on 23rd of March 2022. Yes, this quiz is conducted every week to prepare ourselves for the environmental science entrances and to know something about our environment. So here we are also going to announce the name of the top three performers for this week's quiz contest. And yes, without much delay, let's get started. So guys if you are new to this channel if you want to participate in this quiz contest and you can also become the top performer of the month and can win cash prizes so you can pause this video and go through all these rules for participating in this quiz so let's discuss the questions now the first question is along with which organization the ministry of new and renewable energy launched a loan interest subvention scheme to provide financial assistance to energy biomethanation process so here these projects are given the loan by the mnre along with which of the following organization the question is asking that and here the correct option will be option number b yes along with the united nations industrial development organization mnre is having the collaboration so that to provide the loan for whom to whom they are making the biomethanation projects to those organization these mnre and united nation industrial development organization they will give the loan so that they can explore and they can help the environment with the help of biomethanation projects so let's move to the second question the second question is which of the following is not the mission of india's national action plan on climate change so here it is asking which is not the mission under napcc that is the short form of national action plan on climate change and here what will be the correct option the correct option will be option number d yes national mission on sustainable development it is not one of the missions under the napcc so this is one of the frequent last questions in the environmental science entrances so that's why i have made certain notes so you should note down all these things very very important so first thing is this national action plan on climate change that is napcc was launched in the year 2008 yes it was asked even in the environmental science paper in net that when the napcc was launched correct option will be 2008 by the prime minister's council on climate change so what is the aim the aim is to create awareness among the representatives of the public different agencies of the government scientist industry and the communities on the threat posed by the climate change and the steps to counter it so focusing on the climate change it is having that aim and there are eight national missions forming the core of this napcc so what are these eight missions you should note down national solar mission national mission for enhanced energy efficiency national mission on sustainable habitat national water mission national mission for sustaining the himalayan ecosystem national mission for green india national mission for sustainable agriculture and national mission on strategic knowledge for climate change so there is nothing about national mission of sustainable development nothing that kind of but yes he is sustaining the himalayan ecosystem and mission for sustainable agriculture they are both separate missions under the napcc so i hope you have noted down guys let's move on to the next question here comes very very beautiful animal on the right hand side let's read the question first which country has legally recognized pablo escobar's cocaine hippos so this is a complete name of a hippo variety so this question is asking which country has legally recognized this hippo as people yes they are considering these hippos as people and that country is option a usa that is united states of america we will know a bit more about this so here this pablo escobar's cocaine hippos first of all i will tell you why this name is given pablo escobar was actually a drug dealer who was having the hippos as their pet so that's why those hippos got the name that pablo escobar's cocaine hippos and it became the first non human creatures to be legally considered as people by the united states courts so this has been announced as a measure to save the cocaine hippos so why cocaine hippos because i have already said it was the drug dealer who was having these hippos as their pet as his pet so that's why from being culled this measure is taken by the people of us that means the us court has given recognition as people to this hippos 
So there had been proposals in the Columbia to kill these hippos since 2009, citing that they're invasive species for the local hippos and local species actually, local plants variety, local animals, they were considered invasive and in Colombia there was proposal to kill them. So in order to protect them, these hippos are nowadays given by the United States that they are people, so you have to protect them. And these hippos are said to reportedly compete with the local wildlife for food, pollute the local waterways with their fecal matter so that's where they were supposed to be killed by the proposals for Colombia but now they are getting saved as they have been given the status of people so I hope you are able to understand let's move on to the next question the next question is on your screen the question is Tur Urad and Moong that means Pigeon Pea, Black Mat Pea and Green Gram are the examples of which type of major crop so these are the examples of Harif crops. So we'll know Harif, Rabi and Zaid. Very, very important question. So this is the table. You should also make it. First of all, Rabi is the crops. Rabi are the crops which are sown in winter from October to December month. Harif grows in the onset of monsoon in different parts of the country. And Zaid, these are the crops which are grown in between the Rabi and Harif seasons. Next thing is, the rabi crops are harvested in summer from April to June but kharif crops are harvested in September to October and these are short duration crops so they are harvested in between the kharif and rabi season next is wheat, barley, peas, gram and mustard are the examples of the rabi crops paddy, maize, jawar, bajra, tur, moong, urad, cotton are the important crops under kharif and zaid crops are watermelon, muskmelon, cucumber, vegetables and fodder crops for the Z crops. So I hope you have noted down. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is Indian biologists have identified a new plant species named as Bryum bharatiensis. So from Bharat they have given the name bharatiensis and the question is asking it is identified in which of the following continents. So I'll wait for certain seconds then I will reveal the answer. So the correct option will be in Antarctica these are identified and we'll know a bit more about them. So they are actually the moss variety. Yes, this Bryum bharatiensis commonly is known as elegant Bryum which is identified by the team of researchers from the Central University of Punjab that is U Punjab and it is found in the Antarctica. It is kind of moss. You can see this is a picture of elegant Bryum which is Bryum bharatiensis. So I hope this was new for some of you. So now it's time to reveal the top 3 performers for this quiz contest. Top 3 performers are Kavana, Sankar and Anurag. So congratulations to all of you. So thanks for participating in this quiz and making it a successful one. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all further updates. And you can also join our telegram group. Link will be provided in the description to join regular daily quizzes and prepare yourself for the environmental science entrances. So see you guys in our next video. Till then, keep smiling and believe in yourself.